Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Once more, I welcome us to another hour uh, of encounter, really, transformation and Amen. power. The Bible says that when we appear before God in Zion, that one of the things that happen is he sends help from Zion, he sends help to us, but we receive the help in Zion, and that we are strengthened in Zion. So it is another powerful and um, um, opportunity for us to be strengthened. Pastor, I want to thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm <coughs> because mm -hmm. when when I got this call, the first thing I did was I was I said, Holy Spirit, you are so. I mean, you are so accurate, you're so true. Um, yesterday I was worshiping the Lord and I got fixated on a song about how powerful and how we ought to really reverence the name mm -hmm. of the Lord. I couldn't move past. It was like at every mention of that name, Jesus Christ, there was, it, it was, there was awe. It was, I was filled with awesome wonder. And I kept these were songs that I usually sing, but I said, Lord, why am I, why are you fixating me? Why are you fixing me? He said, because that name, that name ought to be feared. That every time that name is mentioned, that heaven and earth and everything underneath the earth, they stand. That, that name is highly anointed, ought to be reverent. So when his pastor said, we're talking about the authority behind the name of Jesus. I said, God, this is it. Yet another opportunity to be blessed. I want us to pray before we go into the scriptures. I know we have probably like 10 to, uh, 10 to 12 minutes. There's a scripture I found from the book of Luke chapter 24, verse 45. That's where we're going to speak to the Lord from regarding this next minute that we're going to be breaking bread and exploring the scripture. Luke 24, verse 45. I found it in TPT. Um, if anybody else finds it, I can read it in TPT, but just maybe because that is the um, Passion Translation. If we find it in Amplified, we can also read. It says, it's a prayer. Speaking about Jesus, it says, he supernaturally unlocked their understanding to receive the revelation of the scriptures. Jesus supernaturally unlocked the understanding of the disciples when he was about to ascend. He had to do this because without the spirit, without him, we will not understand. Even as we share tonight, what we're going to share is we want him to supernaturally unlock to our understanding so that we will receive the revelation behind the power that is in the name or the authority that is in the name of Jesus. So quickly we're going to pray. Father, we open the scripture and we find the place where it is written that you can unlock the mm -hmm. understanding of man. And as you did it, oh God, for the disciples, yes, upon this platform, upon our mind, upon our spirit, Lord, by the power of your Holy Spirit that you unlock supernaturally the, our understanding that we may be able to receive the revelation behind the truth, behind the name and the power of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 2, verse 2, it says, we went up by revelation. Lord, may we go up even further, deeper into this mystery behind your name in Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. 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 Praise amen. God. Hallelujah. So the power behind or the authority behind the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord took me back to Psalm 24, verse 1. And we may please unmute because it looks like Pastor, you're on mute, you're muted. That there you are muted because we're going to read it like we usually do in different uh, translations. 
Psalm 24, verse 1. So if somebody has the traditional uh, um, KJV, we can start from there to read. Okay, the new, I have the New King James Version. The yeah, earth, that's fine. That's fine the too. earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. Praise, Praise the Lord. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's okay. Um, does somebody else have another translation? translation? That's what amplifies us as well. The amplifies earth is the Lord's and the fullness of it, okay. the world and those who dwell in it. Amen. Hey, okay. The world. okay, so I will read the NIV. The NIV says the earth is the Lord's mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. in it. Hallelujah. The world and those who live in it. Mm -hmm. And those who live in it. Now, there is no separation whether you're from demon spirits or mm -hmm. a human being or your, mm -hmm. um, your trees or your water. Mm -hmm. or your, as long mm -hmm. as you are in this earth. Carabasi, my God. In the earth, the Bible says it belongs to the Lord. Hallelujah. The Hallelujah. world and all who live in it, whether seen or unseen, as long as you operate, you do business in this world, in this cosmos, there is somebody that owns it. Verse two of that scripture even further goes down because as a manufacturer or as a producer, to prove that you are the one who owns something, you can trace from the beginning of how you actually made it. Now verse two tells us exactly how the Lord made the earth. He said it was from sea, so he can prove. Praise God. Amen. The Holy Ghost said, to understand the, the lordship or the authority of God, this is one of the foundational scriptures where we come to realization that this earth, everything in it belongs to the Lord. Hallelujah. And he knows it. The Lord knows it. So it is not, um, it, does not it doesn't surprise him when, when things obey him. Yes. Object to him because it is, we, we marvel, but to God, it is like, it is me. It, is, it belongs to me anyways. To understand the lordship or the authority behind the name of Jesus, most of the things that happen, or some of the things that happen in, in, in the in the in the Bible for miracle to, 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 to the Lord, these are the way it's supposed to be. He did not have to struggle because it is his. For example, Amen. for example, in Matthew 8:27, Matthew 8:27, we know um about the disciples and they have that encounter with the storm. And then the scripture says, but the men marveled and they said, what manner of man, oh, man. is this that yes. sees yes. the winds and the sea obey him? To them, it was marvel, but to the owner, it wasn't <laughs> any, because it, it was his product. He could speak to them. Yes. That's why the Bible says he rebuked the wind he spoke because these are his things. It's like I'm the owner of this phone, I can use it hey. anywhere. Yes, I'm the manufacturer. It is you who don't know that I'm the manufacturer. You'll be running around breaking your head, wondering if, but I know that I I I can I can dissolve this phone and fix it back again because I'm the manufacturer. Praise be unto the name of the Lord. <laughs> now, for believers to understand the authority and to be able to use it. We have to know that when we use the name of the Lord, like he has given us by grace and mercy. That's why he said, the, um, I believe it was his disciples that said, it was Peter in his encounter when he, he was healing the man at the gate beautiful. He said, oh no, when he was delivering the speech actually about um, the Lord, he said, this man, Jesus was not there. The Lord already left. 
But he said, this man, faith in his name. Hallelujah. Has made these things um, be. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, if we go back to that scripture in Psalm 24, when the Lord said, um, the scripture says, the Lord, I mean, the earth, the world, and everyone who live in it. Jesus went further to prove this. Because it looks like when children of God, when we're confronted with um, we can, to a larger sense, we can deal with things we see. But then, when we, when it comes to dealing with things like demons or spirits, it looks like our faith. We, we think we have to put in extra effort. And I didn't know this until I, I, I looked briefly into the scripture and I saw how powerful. When Jesus had an encounter with the man at gathering, I believe that is in Luke. Luke chapter 8 has that account, and Mark um, 5, 1 to 8. It's a long scripture. If you look, I'm actually, we can go to Mark 5, Mark 5, 1 to 8. Mark 5, 1 to 8. It's a long reading. But just to summarize it, when Jesus met the man possessed with tons of demons, he did not have to say a word. The Bible says the demons, they saw him. The guy possessed with those, so many devils saw Jesus and began to run towards him and bowed down before the Lord because he recognized that even the, his owner is around. His owner is there. Before Jesus came on the scene, they said they had tried to hold this man. They bind, if they lock him in chains, they bind himself and the power of those, he will tear the chains apart. But when the Lord showed up on the scene, the owner, remember, the Bible says the world and those who live in it, including the demons, including the sea, including the water, including anything that operates on the surface of the earth and the world. It is owned Hallelujah. by mm -hmm. the Lord. Amen. This is where his authority stems from. But, you know, we are, we, Christians, sometimes we, we are afraid, like, oh no, God cannot, how can God own the devil? How can God own demons? That's not what Psalm 24 is saying. Psalm 24 gives us a bigger perspective about the almightiness of God. The world and those, as long as you're in this world, doing business here, you have an owner. Praise be unto the Lord. Amen. So when that demon uh, possessed man saw the Lord, he ran and bowed himself to the one who is the creator of all. Hallelujah. Now, Amen. The character of the submission of the of devils or demons' powers to the authority of that name, Jesus. It's also proven in the book of James. James chapter 2, verse 14. That verse 19, that's one I want us to read. So find James 2, 19. Can we please read that? Praise God. Hallelujah. You believe that there is one God. You yes. do well. Even mm -hmm. the demons believe and tremble. Hey. Hey. Yes, thank you so much. So I have it in TPT, the same thing, James 2, 19. It says, you can believe and you want, you can believe all you want, right? That there is one God. And this is true. This is commendable. This is wonderful. But let me tell you, James was speaking to the church. This was a letter he wrote. I don't know if, can you, can you still see me? Yes. yes. Okay. This was a letter Apostle Paul, Apostle James was writing to the churches, to the 12 churches. He was telling them, um, he said this, your belief is wonderful, but let me also inform you that even the demons, they know this, and their reaction to this name is a tremble. Oh, hallelujah. They fear before him. Hallelujah. They fear before him. The demons that we they think we have to put in so much effort. We have to exert so much energy. We have to fast extra or pray extra. We have to be so much holy. No. The Bible says they know this and they tremble. At the mention 
Anointed right. one. So when we want to, um, if you are in the ministry of deliverance or if the Lord right. has anointed you, please make sure that it's in the name of Jesus Christ. Right. So I try to tell, you know, the one who died, I I explain right. it out. The one who died on the cross is not, eh, nobody mm. has died on the cross. The one right. who resurrected. So let us, you know, yeah. Yes. So your point. So, just... so the power is in understanding that the name you're calling, he is the owner. He is the owner. He is the Lord. He is the master. Mm -hmm. Now, based on that foundation, then you can use his name, I Jesus mean, Christ, yeah. and nothing, not even, we just saw how the nothing demons can tremble. Resist. They mm -hmm. fear. This is their reaction. And it's not, this is their reaction anytime that that name Spoken in revelation is pronounced. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to open it up for discussion so that we can take it away from here. But Amen. Thank you, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is powerful, isn't it? Yes. I love this. 
I'll also start here one day by his grace next Sun, next uh, Tuesday. You are going to do part three because when we understand the authority and the power behind Jesus's name, there is nothing. Yeah. There is no no situation you cannot enter. Hallelujah. You know, um, in that same um, Luke twenty four, mm. that Sister Mercy actually read. If you read uh, till forty seven, from forty yeah. forty seven, he said, and that repentance and remission of sins should we'll be preached him. in His, in his name. name. Mm. Mm. Remission mm. and repentance in His name. We don't mm. even need too long a talk like she said no. we christians we put in so much energy it is about our prayer it is mm -hmm. about our once you get a word from the lord and i think i gave this testimony to sister messi or a couple of people when i went when i traveled the last time you know um i met with a family and they've just been having issues so the night before i said lord i'm going as your ambassador what do you want me to say and the Lord gave me this passage. Hey, Psalm 24, the earth is the Lord and wow. the full earth there. I didn't even know there was any issue mm -hmm. of the land. I just know that the lady has been having issues with her house. So when we got there and they started to talk, I said, wait there. I said, this is what the Lord oh. gave me the night. That the earth is the Lord. I said, take me to the tree. Because there's this tree in that compound tree, you know, leaves <laughs> that ancestors, ancestors have been worshiping. Mm. And they will give it food. They will give it this, they will give it that. She mm. as a Christian 24 years ago, she came, you know, the mother, the grandmother gave it to her as the first grandchild. So when she came, she was coming from Europe with all her money. She asked them to clear the place, cut the tree down. Hey, trouble. Huh. Why did you cut it? Some of the living um, aunties, living children who had been continuing it, but they didn't really know, you know, they've been away for so long. But obviously she was the custodian. Why did you cut it? And they said, ah, it's her land. You say, ah, mm -hmm. not that place, da, da, da. So I said, take me there. I said, because the Lord gave me, and as she said, you know, at times, it's all about no, even knowing, maybe at times when we don't even know the power that these things have, let me just know the power of Jesus. Mm -hmm. The power that is in the name of Jesus, that is the boldness and the confidence that we have. So I took it, the Lord told me, take your, what is that thing? Take uh, anointing oil. Mm -hmm. But yeah. for some reason, when I was rushing, I forgot. I said, Do you have? They said, Yes, they have anointing. You know, we bless it. And do you know when I got outside? Because the main entrance was here. The entrance that leads to the field, a little field, was on the side. And this other auntie had held that little piece of, of ground with the old house that had been there from 1800, like a hut, like this. I don't know. She said 19 people <laughs> lived in that house of 12 people plus father, mother. Ah, I said, my God, you know, way, way back, 1800. Why is she still holding it? So as soon as, you know, I was just praying the oil as the Lord directed, when we got to that spot, Everything around that, oh my yekerebosa, everything around that tree plot where the tree was hmm. already cut down and taken away long, long time ago, 24 years. They were green around this big tree, obviously, where the root must have been was yellow, was dying, was dead, but dying, kind of alive, but dying. I was like, I just told them, I said, is it here? You can see the perimeter. They said, yes. Ah, I said, Father, you said the earth is the Lord and the fullness. The Amen. I said, tree, you have been waiting for the manifestation of the sons yes, and children. daughters of God yes. who will release you from the bondage that you are yes. in. Oh, my God. 
As we got to the house, I told them, I said, there'll be trouble. I said, there'll be trouble. I was even thinking that maybe there'll be some birds that will be making noise or witches. The woman herself came. Hmm. She came with two other people wanting to fight. But because I told them, watch it. She would, that, do you know that as soon as she came out, her daughter, her granddaughter, her grand, grand, granddaughter, which is the daughter of the lady living there, accosted her. With speaking in tongue, Shabaki, Parakaka, Zeke, Rebo, Saka, what that woman started to run. And at the end of the day, fast forward. They said the government, the authority of the land, said she cannot step on that land anymore. Hallelujah. The tree has been delivered. Yeah. Hey, Hallelujah. The children yeah. of God that has been held captive, they said for the yes. first time in 24 years, this woman has peace. Ah, yes. So I just want to tell us Thank that. You, Lord. When we believe in the name of Jesus, no. even the trees, the whatever yes. it is that mm -hmm. is all around us that yes. has been subjected to mm -hmm. decay, mm -hmm. to, to abuse mm -hmm. by the powers that be. You know, some trees, mm -hmm. they live in it. Mm -hmm. The people live in it. The mm -hmm. poor tree is crying out to us mm -hmm. for deliverance. So oh. I pray in the name of Jesus on what she has just shared, you know, that you, is my own, um, uh, you. you know, real, real life yeah. story of what the that Lord the Lord is, the, the yeah. earth is the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Amen. The Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank, you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sorry. That was awesome. Oh, Thank you hallelujah. So yes, let's take a moment and talk to the Lord from the testimony we have had and from the word that the Lord sent to Samesi. I called her this afternoon, doesn't that since today and yeah. the Lord gave her, met yeah. with her, knowing fully well that I was going to ask yes. her to share. She and didn't tell me before. Let's thank God. you have a dance Wherever he may have done the past. 